Welcome to the Internet Marketing Funnel Podcast. I'm David Bain. Hi, and welcome to another edition of the podcast brought to you by InternetMarketingFunnel.com. This week I'm interviewing Sean Collins from AffiliateTip.com about affiliate marketing. In this section, I asked Sean to start off by telling us a little bit about his background before giving an overview of what affiliate marketing involves. Thank you very much for joining me today, Sean. Um, I was wondering if you could possibly begin a little bit by um, just telling us about yourself, um, your background, and f- what you actually do. Sure. Thank you, David. It's a pleasure to be here. I, uh, I've been in affiliate marketing for about 10 years now. I got into it back in 1997 on both the affiliate and the merchant side. I, I was working for a company called MedSite.com, M-E-D-S-I-T-E.com, and they're still around to this day. And what they were doing was trying to basically copy the, the model of Amazon.com, but with medical books. So I, I went there and I had joined their team, and I didn't really have any kind of marketing background. And I was sort of thrust into the position of running their affiliate program as well as other marketing tasks without really any understanding of what it was. So I had to learn really fast. And it was, it was pretty tough back then because there weren't really resources, there weren't blogs or forums was sort of a um, figure it out as you go along kind of thing. I worked there for a couple of years until I one day I was reading the newspaper on the way to work on the train. I saw an article from in the business section about a, a guy named James Marciano who was running a new site called referit.com, which was at the time the first affiliate directory. And he was he was also as I was working in New York City. And so I I contacted him and asked him if he'd like to meet for lunch just because I was so excited to find somebody else who was doing this affiliate stuff because it just um I hadn't met anybody up to that point back in the 90s that was doing it. I'm trying to think of that actually being on the internet in 1997, but uh, <laughs> 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 it's a long time in the internet, you know. But uh, sorry, uh, continue away. Yeah, yeah. Then I um so I met with him and I and it was purely just uh, I was excited to meet somebody else who could sort of speak the affiliate language. And um, and I when I went there after we had a lunch, he asked me for my resume, and he'd assumed that I came there looking for a job, and I hadn't even really thought about that. I was just excited to meet somebody else to to talk shop with, and um, at the time I I wasn't really looking for a job, but it, as it turned out, I ended up leaving my job to work for him a few months later. <laughs> so it, um, that worked out nicely, and and I spent a a year or so working with with him at referit.com, and then I moved on to to where I um, really started to make a name for myself at clubmom.com, which launched back in 2000. It was a membership group for moms in the United States. And so um, so we, I just sort of, um, still there weren't really a lot of resources, so I just did a lot of things where I just sort of made up best practices for myself, for my affiliate program, and how to do things. And after I had done that, I was sort of keeping notes of what I was doing, and I ended up getting a book deal on how to manage an affiliate program, so I... I sort of chronicled everything that I was doing up to that point in this book, and it's it's still selling well to this day. It came out back in early 2001, just um, just different methods on how to run an affiliate program. And ever since then, I've been running affiliate programs, as well as since 2003, I started running the Affiliate Summit Conference, which is going to be in Miami, Florida, this coming July, and then in London in September. And I also publish a, an annual report called AFSTAT that has all kinds of different statistics on affiliate marketing, so it's sort of what I've come to today. Wow, okay, so um, certainly one of the gurus on affiliate marketing, you know, so uh, if um, you were talking to someone who hadn't actually taken part in affiliate marketing before, someone who's perhaps either a marketing manager within a business or maybe an entrepreneur looking to um, start their own business or is already running their own business but knows a little bit about affiliate marketing but really would need to know a little bit more before they got seriously involved in it, how would you actually describe the benefits of affiliate marketing to them? The way I usually describe it, and I'm not sure if this would be an appropriate description in the um, in the UK and in different areas, but in when I was growing up, I'm 37 years old now. When I was a kid, there was a lot of um, people in the neighborhoods where I was growing up that would they're known as Avon ladies. They would go around and they would sell cosmetics to people door to door. Right, we have that here as well. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So they um so they were they're working purely on commission. So I um I usually just describe it as sort of for the generation before me, it's like a an internet version of the Avon lady, where you go out there and you 
you just um, basically knock on doors and try to sell your goods, and, and if you sell them, you get commission. If you don't, you don't get anything. Now, that's a concise but um, decent overview, really, I suppose. Um, yeah, I guess it's, it's a lot more complicated than that, I guess, but it, I try to simplify it, especially because whenever I try to describe what it actually is to my friends and family, they just their <laughs> face goes blank. They switch off quickly. <laughs> I'm used to seeing that face as well myself, actually talking about different aspects of internet marketing, but uh, I suppose that's the, 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 the life we, we lead. So um, wh- what are the essential aspects of affiliate marketing to learn before actually deciding to partake in it, to actually promote other people's products? Well, I guess um, one thing I think is the, a, a very good approach is to actually be a customer of the companies you promote. I think a lot of people are sort of mercenaries and they go out and they look for the best offers that can be most lucrative for them. But I think the, to me the, the way that I've really done well has been to really advocate the products that I'm, I'm using and, and the services that I got there and, and I write about them and just sort of from a very um, a first person, big fan of that kind of product perspective. And I, I guess um, there are so many different ways you can be an affiliate, but um, to me one of the, the best ways, especially for a long-term kind of plan, is to have a content-based site that's going to be about some kind of topic that you're passionate about. Okay. And um, so where are the best places to actually go to to find these affiliate product deals or these people that are actually offering a percentage of their products if you manage to sell one? I guess the, um, my job with Referred back in the, in the late 90s, that was um, back then it was common to go to affiliate directories, but they've, they've sort of become passe at this point. And um, to me, the, the best place to find out about the, the best uh, affiliate programs is um, one of two different places to go to the various um, affiliate marketing forums, and um, on a daily basis, there are three that I go to. I go to the affiliatesforyou.com, the um, abestweb.com, and wickedfire.com. I go to those three to keep up on which programs people are talking about. And then also, I'll just go into Google, and I'll I'll do a search there for any given um, whatever topic it is I'm looking for for an affiliate program, say if I'm looking to sell books, I'll look up book affiliate on Google and, and see what comes up and use that sort of as a gauge to which affiliate programs might be appropriate. Excellent. So you'd certainly encourage people to actually develop a business model first of all and actually have a lot of great information themselves, know which genre they're in and then actually look for an affiliate program for the area of business they're in instead of actually finding out what they think is a good affiliate program and, and trying to tailor a, a, an information product towards that. Yeah, yeah I think... Um, I think if you if you're just trying to chase the money and going up focusing on topics you don't really care about, it's probably not gonna last. You're probably gonna be um, easily distracted and move on to something else fairly easy. Right. So I think it um, I think it really benefits you to, to focus on areas that interest you. That's the end of this podcast, but you can subscribe to updates which tell you as soon as another episode's published at internetmarketingfunnel.com slash podcast. 